Hi, this video will cover some of the questions we've received. This is part 3 of our x series. So if you've not watched the others, just go ahead and click on the card above or the link in the description. Okay, the first question was how to change the X and Y range for the polar graph. So I've just fired up X-Foil and we'll just grab a nominal NACA error foil. Go into the operating menu, we'll up the iterations so we get a decent sort of graph. And we'll put it into viscous mode, about 6 million. Reynolds number. Okay, now I'll bring the controls up so you can see what we're doing. Okay, we're going to grab the polar, so P toggles the accumulation to the polar. So we'll turn that on. Okay, here you can put a, a file name if you want, or you can just leave it. And same with the dump file. You can save the file or you can just have no file. We don't actually need a file for this. So now we're accumulating the polar and we'll put a series of data points in. Let's go from minus tw 4 degrees up to 20 degrees in half a degree steps. So that's got all the data into the polar. Let's turn accumulation off and let's have a look at the axis so the axis command is ppax change polar plot axis limits so we'll put ppax in and this is the default so the default is minus 4 to 10 we went minus 4 to 20 so we'll bump it up a bit two degree steps seems reasonable uh, coefficient of lift will go from say minus a half up to two in half degree steps and coefficient of drag those numbers look reasonable to me so we hit return and moment will go from oh that didn't quite work let's do that again so you'll see it's got our data in already and that one didn't quite work so we'll go minus a quarter up to positive a quarter in 0.05 steps so that should set up the axis and we'll have a look at the plot PP for polar plot and there you have it so it, it picked it up quite well um, yeah so that's that's how you change the axis limits you can you can make them bigger and smaller as you want if you make it too detailed you'll notice that the the axis lines are too clumped up and it's it's quite hard to read I'll, I'll give you a quick demo of that and say we went minus 420 say half degree steps and lift if we went say 0.1 degree steps if you have a look at it now it's yeah, very hard to read so just just play around with the numbers and you'll be able to figure out what works best for you okay the second question we got was have you encountered a problem where x foil converged and generated result for a pressure distribution but not for the polar data and this is in relation to MATLAB um, I don't use MATLAB when I'm using XFOIL um, I can't unfortunately answer that question I'd pro probably try doing it directly in XFOIL if that works uh, sometimes you get funny numbers sometimes a particular number won't work like if you're doing an alpha of 2.2 2, sometimes it just won't won't converge you can do 2.2 one nine and two point two one and it works but two point two doesn't it's just the way Matt X4 works sometimes unfortunately. Okay, uh, one of the other questions is can you upload another video with its detailed capability? Um, I'll try and do another one shortly. Um, I'm not an XFOIL expert, it's a very, very powerful program. I probably use a quarter of its features, so I'll do the best I can. So thanks very much.